Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It is official, it is done, it is completed. Putin approves the four regions joining Russia. This article comes from Sputnik and it is from uh, today, the 5th of October 2022. Putin approves a session of DPR, LPR, Kherson and Zaporozhye regions into Russia. So he made it final. The Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, as well as Kherson region and Zaporozhye region, previously had held referendums with people showing overwhelming support for joining the Russian Federation. Democracy at work. Direct democracy, right? Russian President Vladimir Putin approved accession treaties with the DPR, LPR, Zaporozhye region and Kherson region on Wednesday, signing constitutional laws that make them part of the country. The treaties were previously approved by both chambers of the Russian parliament, the State Duma and the Federation Council as well as by DPR and LPR legislators. The referendums on joining Russia started simultaneously on September 23 in the DPR, LPR, Kherson and Zaporozhye regions and ended on September 27. The voter turnout proved to be high despite attacks by Ukraine and most voter backed uh, the idea mm, that those territories become part of Russia. And uh, we already know that that occurred with a high percentage for each and every uh, territory. Now, what are the implications? The, how they call it, uh, collective West, and not only, uh, I, I, I'm expecting 98% of the world's countries um, not to recognize those referenda and this uh, new acquisition or reunification of uh, Russian territories since um, you know they have power the, the other club and some countries still have uh, memories of and problems of their own on the other hand, a lot of country would not agree with the whole uh, thing that happened with a special military operation and they will have their uh, um, their own, you know, v view on that. And that should be respected, not threatened or um, blackmail, uh, blackmailed as it works in the international arena, unfortunately, where if you're stronger, you can try to impose things on everybody else. And uh, this is the new uh, <coughs> world order that we are uh, supposed to support. Now, on the other hand, Russia, I don't think, gives a damn about uh, who recognizes and who doesn't recognize um, these territories um, because they're too big and too important. And simply, I think they're used with um, you know, being considered uh, this and that. Russians, uh, and I'm talking about the leadership of Russia, some of the, the officials uh, provided evidence and we all know the, I mean, all know, just to click, two clicks from finding out if you really want the details, Russia was under uh, sanctions for a long time and uh, nothing new over there. And when you have a country placing sanctions like a parent, parent you know, placing sanctions on the child to change the child's behavior, maybe the child doesn't agree with uh, the relationship. And um, Russia doesn't agree uh, with the relationship of, uh, uh, or a status quo as a, as a child uh, parent. And they will try to, uh, and they've been trying to change that for some time already. That's unacceptable because it has to be only one um, leader. So um, this has been for uh, on going on for some time. 
it was very strange uh, an article that I read about uh, maybe a week ago where uh, we have the former president of the United States of America Bill Clinton who by the way uh, bombarded uh, Yugoslavia Serbia in 1999 with no uh, you know uh, UN approval which made it illegal and NATO countries who uh, they say they are uh, a defensive alliance they bombarded Yugoslavia who was 70 from some days now Bill Clinton stated in that um, um, interview it was an interview with him and he said that but I read about the interview I didn't watch the interview he said that um, actually NATO uh, offered Russia a path to join NATO and uh, th that was uh, not true because I was alive when that happened and when Putin asked he was a prime minister at that time and he asked uh, President uh, Clinton I think when Clinton came to uh, Russia to meet uh, Yeltsin and blah 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 and um, Putin asked Clinton how about in the future can we do this and Clinton's answer was this and I'm quoting Russia will not need to join NATO because it's too strong that was his answer now it's true that NATO I think NATO uh, Russia wanted to be a uh, how do you call it uh, a, 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 not a participant in NATO but an observer I think it had a kind of uh, for a short time a little position over there as an observer but never uh, never accepted in they were never never meant to be part of NATO NATO was already created and you couldn't have uh, anybody as strong as Russia in it so what's gonna happen with this uh, the final step of this annexation reincorporation re reunification however some people call it or or a uh, land grab some people call it right uh, just to try to cover the whole spectrum uh, well the problem is you have uh, Ukrainian troops on the sad territories that you just uh, incorporated legally by your standards by your laws what are you gonna do with those guys now I'm very curious so this happened in Russia uh, during the day obviously United States is still starting the day so what's gonna happen over there well um, so what's gonna happen with the uh, Ukrainian troops stuck caught in this uh, decision I think they will receive an ultimatum or they will try maybe to push them strategically and uh, conventionally out if they will be unsuccessful I don't have a doubt that uh, Russians will use uh, tactical nuclear weapons probably that's one of the reasons why the the Russians are pulling back right now to create space between them their soldiers and the enemy soldiers to blow them up it's a possibility that I'm uh, contemplating to you know just as a uh, you know a prediction if they are not incapable of pushing them back with their new recruits I think that would be the only option left to Russia after an ultimatum and the ultimatum will not be uh, cared for and then they will drop some tactical nuclear weapons so this is what the, the where we go the West will not react because if they react the Russians will use the big weapons I am 99.9 .9 certain that that's what's gonna happen um, NATO will talk a lot we're gonna bring troops gonna create a lot of things uh, price is gonna jump off the roof up the roof and so on and we're going to be in big trouble when that happens and that yeah, I give it about 95% that will happen if they cannot push the Ukrainians back well thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just